What's up, what's up, what's up? You already know. This is Peach, and today we're going to be making lunch for the kiddos. One of my subbies asked me, can you please make the teriyaki chicken? Like, I know it comes from Sam's Club, but please make the teriyaki chicken. So I'm going to make my teriyaki chicken. It is sweet teriyaki chicken thighs. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so I have my two glass bowls, well, pans. That's one. That's two. So all you're going to do is spray these down with your Pam 9-6 spray or whatever 9-6 spray you like to use. I strongly prefer Pam. You just stop choice. Leave that baby alone. And I just spray it down like this. Y'all stop. Bowl number two. Okay, yikes. I sprayed both glasses down. And I'm using two glasses because we're going to eat this entire bag. My family is pretty big. And this is what I'm using. The Tyson Sweet Teriyaki Chicken Filet. And what I'm going to do is come right here, okay? Hold on, baby. I'm going to cut it open with a knife because I don't have no kitchen shears. And I just cut stuff with a knife. Because she ratchet. Pay attention to the camera. You trying to look at what somebody else doing. That's always the issue when you record. And you see, it comes soft. It comes soft up already, but it's not real saucy. And all you're going to do is take your fillets and put them in. Now, I like to put the grill side up. So this side has the grill lines. This side doesn't, so I put my chicken grill side up just because it looks delicious when it's done, if you do it that way. Back up, son. You see how it's blurry? Boys, why are you knocking all Is it still blurry? Huh? Focus on the chicken. Come up closer then. Let me see. Is this camera? So this side is the grill line. This side is not. So all I do is I take the chicken and I put it grill side up like that. So simple and so easy. Grab my next piece. I'll make you some homemade donut. Homemade donut? Yeah, I'll make you some homemade donut. What's that, mommy? That is the mix for homemade donuts. That's a biscuit for homemade donuts. Another grilled chicken thigh. They are boneless. That can't fit. They are boneless and skinless. Move over to this class. One moment, gorgeous. I'll make you cereal. And um, for those of you who don't know, my children eat cereal like it's a snack. They don't eat it like a meal. That's like, you know how some kids eat like chips and granola bars. My children eat cereal and they think that that's a snack, not a meal. Next piece of chicken. I love this chicken. It tastes like a chicken breast, honestly. It don't taste like you're eating um, a chicken thigh. They're boneless and they're skinless. This is all I got left. And what I'm going to do is just dump that out right here. Like so, and it barely comes with any um any extra sauce. I hate that. That's my biggest complaint about this chicken. I love this chicken. I've been buying it for years since it used to be like five dollars when it first was in store. So we actually ate a sample of it, and then I bought it. But that's my biggest complaint, baby. Give me a spoon. Let me see if I could scrape some of this off. Thank you. My hands are so my hands so dirty. From um grabbing the chicken. My hands messy. I do not use gloves in my own house. I'm just trying to scrape out some of this seasoning. So Tyson, if y'all ever see this video, please, please make some sauce on the side for this. Like if I could just pick up an extra thing of sauce, put it in my veggies if I cook veggies or put it in my um in my rice. That would be more convenient. You can preheat your oven as well if you like to 350. That's what I use my oven at. But I don't preheat it. I cut it on when I'm about to um, put it in. So that is what the chicken is look like, looking like. Okay, go over both. Alright guys, so this is what the chicken is currently looking like. It has not even been in the oven yet. I'm going to put it in the oven for about 40 minutes. 30 to 40 minutes. Just because I like it for it to be real crispy. But still like saucy and from experience that's what works best i'll actually see what time it is and what time i take it out so those of you at home who have never made this delicious meal before will be able to do it like accurately bottom rack like so that's one this is tray number two that's what they look like just push it in 
and let it cook. And while that's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and do the sides. All right, guys, while the chicken is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and work on our sides. For the sides today, we're going to have um, the original Velveeta shells and cheese macaroni. This is my absolute favorite macaroni. I'm cooking three boxes just because I know everybody is extra hungry. Normally, I would only cook two. Okay, guys, the first thing you do is just take you some water, put it in a pot, turn your stove on. I have a gas stove, and this pot is old. I got it from the casino. Y'all know I love me the casino. Um, it was a gift from the casino. I had the whole set. I normally use metal spoons. If you like, why your pie all scraped up? That is unhealthy. That is so toxic. I normally use metal spoons and um, forks when I'm cooking. I also use a metal pot scraper. That's how the pot got right here, like this. And it is old. However, one of my subbies, one of my peaches from the peach patch, blessed me with a gift. Uh-oh. Baby keep knocking it down. She blessed me with this 13-piece utensil set in a silicone and wooden. So for all of you like, girl, you need to be using silicone and wooden. She was actually like, I'm going to bless you with some silicone slash wooden utensils so, you know, you can stop feeding your baby your kids scraped up hot residue that you didn't know that you was feeding them. One of the things I like to do is put oil in my water when I'm making pasta. So we're just going to put a little bit of avocado oil. And a lot of you are going to ask me, where do you get avocado oil? I get it from Sam's Club. So that's enough. Just a little bit of avocado oil or canola oil or vegetable oil, whatever you use to keep your stuff from not sticking. One of my subscribers did mention she doesn't do this anymore. She used to, but now she just puts um, cold water when and when the water is boiling. I don't know how to do that yet. I'll work on that later. All right, guys, I'm cooking lunch, which is going to be macaroni, green beans, and teriyaki chicken. However, I'm also going to cook some biscuits of your choice. We prefer the Pillsbury Grand Donuts. Also, you're going to need some sugar. I get this sugar from Walmart. It's like two dollars and some change. Then some brown sugar. Brown sugar, baby. Um, I have my containers from the Dollar Tree, y'all, but I need more because unbeknownst to me, I have way more sugar and flour. Than I but this came from the Dollar Tree, the container, but the brown sugar is from Walmart. And then you're also going to need cinnamon. Now, I have never tried this before. I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know if it's going to melt the bag or what. Normally, I just start using this. Normally, I use like a little Tupperware like this. I'll use something like this. For my donut, but I just recently started using this to flour my chicken, and it works really well. My chicken and, and shrimp, so I'm gonna see if it'll work well with a donut. Now, part of me like, girl, that kind of sounds crazy because this plastic, that donut gonna be hot and it might melt the plastic, but I don't know. So we gonna see, we gonna experiment. I teach you guys things on YouTube, and you guys teach me a lot of things back. So I really appreciate y'all dropping tips. And the comments and sharing your experiences about how you do stuff, where you're from. All of that makes a big difference. And our kids are loud, guys. We got five kids. This I just put sugar in the bag. This is brown sugar. We're going to put some of that in here. And I do not use a measuring cup. I cook by feel. I do stuff until the ancestors tell me to stop. Like my subscribers say. So, Peach, what you... Um, what you um, Season the chicken until the ancestors to tell you to stop. Yes, I do. I do everything until the ancestors to tell me to stop. Now we have our cinnamon. This is ground cinnamon. This comes from Walmart. It's only 98 cents. This is the great value brand. I gotta pop it open. Yes, I did just pop it open with my teeth. I know a lot of y'all work for the United States Health Department or so you think. The YouTube Health Department Committee you yeah, always got something to say about how people do stuff at their house. Like, you finna go over there and eat. You not finna come over here and eat. We not finna feed you, baby. If you don't like the way I do it over here, do it different. Stop. Well, these are my shoes. Those not your shoes. Put those back. Y'all stop. I'm recording. Go over there and play. Mom, my shoes. Get your shoes, McIntyre. So, I just pour some um, ground cinnamon in here. And like I said, I do not use the measuring cup. I'm finna wipe my hands off. But listen, I don't got no fingernails. So honestly, most of my life, I've been 
opening stuff with my teeth, with knives, with forks, because I bite my fingernails. Now, I have been trying to grow them. Look at those. I've been trying to grow them and not bite them. So, this is like the first time in like years I've had a little white, the little clip part. And I'm just going to shake this up, break up that brown, thin, that brown sugar. Brown sugar is like sometimes like real sticky, thick, and stuck together. So, you have to break it up or it'll be in balls. Moving that on out. Like so. See how I'm smushing the balls? Smushing the balls. Smushing the balls. Baby, baby, want to breastfeed? All right, and it look like that. It's still kind of chunky. But I'm in a rush because these kids loud and baby want to nurse and I got to make this macaroni. So let's go ahead and macaroni. So my water is boiling. And what we're going to do is we're just going to drop this in. Make sure y'all don't put the sauce packet in the water. I let my 12 year old cook macaroni for the first time and he dumped the sauce in the water. And like I said, we have five kids. They are home in their house being normal. I say they loud because I would like for them to be quiet. But they're just behaving like normal kids would, would behave in their own house. This isn't a um a TV show. I'm sorry if it's bothering you. But most of my subbies, most of the peaches from the peach patch say, you know, we understand that you have kids. We love hearing them in the background, which I truly appreciate y'all saying that. Can you come closer? So that's what the macaroni looked like. I just dumped it in and you just stir it around once and then you just leave it. It's going to take about 10 minutes to cook. It's even that. Now what we're going to do is move on to this pan right here where we're going to do our donuts. And this pan... What we're going to do is add some canola oil. I don't use vegetable oil. It's just a personal preference. I use canola oil. This is $4 and 50, anywhere between $4 and 48 cent and $4 and 98 cent at Walmart, depending where you are located. But that's the price in Florida. One moment. Let me get these kids some act right. Cause right now they're acting a real fool. One moment. What we're going to do now is pop these can of biscuits open. Our last time it like popped. And I was real scared. Hopefully, I don't do that this time. It didn't. Thank you, goodness, because I was scared. It normally don't, and I normally have to go like push it in, and then it pops. Yeah. So these are the Grand's Pillsbury biscuits. Let me get something to sit these bad boys on. We're gonna sit them on a the paper plate today. One of my subscribers was like, "You should pop a hole in them and make some munchkins." You think we should make munchkins? You wanna make munchkins? She said, use the top and make munchkins. We normally don't do that. All I do is, come closer, babe. All I do normally, like just focus on just the donut, is just poke my finger through it like that. And then just go like this. That's it. And then just sit it to the side so you can make it later. I'm going to try the little munchkin, munchkin thing. Let's see how that works. It's okay, but... You gonna try this milk cap? Let me wash it off. What's that, mommy? Wash it. I normally don't do the donuts like this, but they said take a cap. My grandma used to do this. Take a cap and push it through. See that? We gonna see how these come out, child. Pushing the milk top through, which I did wash. Push it through like this. That one can I? And it comes out like this. So we're going to take out that dough. So we have this little ball. And then we have our donut hole. So we got a donut and a munchkin. The counter is clean. I'm just going to do them on my counter. It's clean. I use bleach. And we're just going to push this through. This cap. All the way down. Pull these off. And I am holding baby. Show baby, babe. Show baby. Holding baby per usual. Baby like to be held and I don't like to hear him cry. So then that's how our donut is looking. Wow, you're good, mine. And then this is the donut hole. <laughs> Wait, that's fine. Pretty cool, right, Matt? Yeah. Now we're on to the next one. Mommy, I see you did it. Push this flat down. I see you do that. You see I me doing this? Uh -huh. You could do this. I'm sure you could. Uh -huh. Just lift it up like this. It's going to be new. Okay, then. Y'all be teaching me stuff. I be teaching y'all stuff. Y'all be teaching me stuff. We cousins. Y'all my cousins. <laughs> right, on to the next one. You want to do it? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Push it down. 
Yep. Now we're gonna lift up the dough. Lift up the dough. Lift up the outside. But that's funny. But that's funny, mommy. Mm -hmm. Good job. I can't I do it. it. Yeah, wash your hands and you can do it. Like a burger. Like a burger. Uh huh. Wash your hands, gorgeous, and you can do it. Okay. Let another wash your hands. Oh, she won. So we're gonna let McIntyre oh. do one more, and we're gonna let Gorgeous do the last one. Yeah. My grease is on um, six, so it's warming up. My macaroni is almost done, and we're gonna start on our green beans. Yeah. No, don't break the dough. Don't break the dough. Break then you're gonna destroy the donut. See how you almost broke it? Uh -huh. See, you broke it. Uh -huh. That's what I said not to do. But it's okay. It's an easy fix. It's not a big deal. We just push push it back together. No reason to get mad at the kids. See? The cat money. Take out the munchkin. Take out that. A cat. You're doing such a great job. A cat. A cat. Hi, cat. A pretty cat. Hi, pretty cat. And this one we're going to let Gorgeous do. She wants to wash her hands. So we're going to wait and let Gorgeous. Don't you do it. A cat. So I'm stirring my macaroni. I'll be forgetting that I got these spoons. I just got them yesterday. Thank you again to the peach that gave me this from the peach patch. And like I said, I still haven't figured out her name. I don't know if it was Miss Robin or Miss Rachel. I just know it started with an R. Thank you so much for these spoons. I should have done this sooner. It's so easy. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so these are done. Done, done, done. So we're gonna drain these. Let me get my strainer. Stove off, that's very important because I have a gas stove and I have little children. I always turn my stove off, my battery's going to be dead. And then we're going to just move this over to the sink. Oh, this is hot. This is going to be hot. It's normally not hot. Mom, get some cheese. And we're just going to dump it. I made a mess. Look at this. We're going to dump that in there. Move, Gorgiana. Then that's it. You burnt me. Oh. Why'd you do that? It's blurry. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and we just let that macaroni drain. And while that's going on, we're back over here to these donuts. This grease is now hot. Come here, babe. Back over to the donuts. The grease is now hot. These things going to cook so fast. This is a fast snack. Gorgeous, put that dough back. Gorgeous over here messing with dough. And we're just gonna drop them in like so. No, put that back. Very, very put fast. That back. Meal. Wait, that one be well, good. snack. It ain't a meal, it's a snack. Very fast. And you see how fast that thing is turning brown? These are one of the easiest snacks to make. I started making this when I was a kid with my great grandmother. I am a great grandmother's child. I love my great grandmother. So I flipped that one too soon, but it's okay. Okay, we can flip it again. They cook really fast. They'll cook in like two to three minutes. I splashed some grease, but it's okay. That's what that's looking like. We're going to let the other side get a little browner than that. I'm just wiping up the grease that I splattered on the stove. Man, this teriyaki chicken in the oven smells so good. I'm so ready for that. Wanna look at the chicken bag? This is what the chicken is looking like, y'all. It's still cooking. That's tuna fish. We gonna let it cook a little longer just cause I like it a little crispy. But y'all, this stuff's so good. Yeah, that tuna fish. I just finished up the donuts and we are moving on to the munchkins. Munchkins before. So this is gonna be a first for me you just pop them with a top one of my subbies told me to do this with my children so all we're doing is just dropping them in the grease see how this works oh i burnt my finger a little bit i'm holding baby i'm holding the camera wait buddy we're gonna put them in a the cinnamon sugar they cooking so freaking fast Put in the sugar. Hold on, buddy. I'm gonna let you do the sugar. Wait, 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 wait. The munchkins are cooking so fast, y'all. I'm talking about 
couple seconds and they done. Look how big they done got. Oh, this is going to be so cool. We could be making chocolate munchkins. This is one of our favorites to make. Chocolate munchkins when we go to um, Dunkin' Donuts. Shall we could make them at home? Okay, then. Teach me something new. How am I going to get the bottom to be brown without burning the top? <laughs> While holding the camera and the baby. <laughs> What's the plan? Let me work this on out. Hey guys, I had to put the camera down so I can like put these a certain way so they can get all the way brown. This one right here is still giving me trouble, but it's cool though. Um, I'm going to try to use my silicone oh, finger magic that that's I was so gifted sorry, with. Who's so sorry? So this, I would normally use like my metal one like that. Which is this. But thanks to my subby, I have a silicone one. We're gonna scoop them out with this. And it's not melting. Wow. No, guys, we're not gonna do sugar cookies today. That looks so good. That kind of icing on y'all donuts? No, baby, don't touch. Go like that. The last. Now normally I would have this plate right by me but like I said I was holding the baby and I just got a lot going on. So that is what those are looking like and we're about to start doing sugar. I took one of the chickens out so this is what the teriyaki chicken is looking like. I have another one in the oven still. I haven't grabbed it out because I was holding the baby like he started crying trying to come to the mat to the stove so I had to hurry up and put him up. And then the macaroni, we're about to put the cheese and warm up our green beans. For the green beans, I use like the bag green beans, not canned. They look like this. These are the green beans I like to use. Snap green beans, microwavable bag, but I like to put them in the water and add my seasoning, which I forgot. We're going to add some abado. One of my subbies sent me the way to stay up. Through That's Instagram, she was like, girl, you is killing me. I'll be falling out laughing. Sugar. This is how you say it, but I don't forgot how to say it that fast. Mommy. I'm gonna say Sugar. I about it. And this is the results. This is what it came to look like. Using the bag, all right. The bag works better. Now Gorgeous wanna shake hers. Okay, Gorgeous, oh, that my munchkins. munchkins. We're gonna do the munchkins. McIntyre is gonna be our shaker. Ooh. Ooh. I told you. I'm the you the best shaker, right. Matt, Gorgeous, you're a great shaker too. So now we're gonna put the munchkins in the bag. Go ahead. One, two, three, four. Put it in, Gorgeous. Five, yep. Six, six munchkins. Let's shake these bad boys on up. All right, so McIntyre is gonna shake these munchkins. Shake, shake, shake your munchkins. Shake, lift it up so your munchkins. Shake, shake, shake your munchkins. Shake your munch can shake the munch can go Matt Matt shake no, the munch can no, I think that's good let's see let's see how they came out Matt sorry shake up the munch can that's our teriyaki chicken that we're having for lunch mm -hmm. yay lunch. I do D mine do D mine which one the yeah. donut uh huh okay Matt wants to do those donuts too you want to taste the munch can or you want to wait. Uh, I'm going to wait all you say you're going to wait till it's all done. Uh -huh. I'm going to wait all You're going to wait too? Gorgeous yeah. says she's going to wait until it's all done too. Yeah, let's put this. That looks so delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll put mine. You guys did a great job. What's this? Munchkin. Oh, well, I like you. I got Go ahead. Go try one. Get one. Hey, you good. Gorgeous like it. Mmm. <laughs> she don't got on her clothes. Mm. So that probably won't make the cut. She says good. So we're gonna do two. Just do two. Oh look, another munchkin. Wait, we're gonna wait for the rest. We're gonna do the last two by themselves. Let me zip, like, you know, tighten up this bag and Mac is gonna shake for us. Shoot, shoot, do your Fortnite dance. Do your Fortnite dance. Hey, do your Fortnite dance. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go Mac. And Mac is fine with the donut. I didn't say much, kid. Good job, buddy. I did a good job. You did a great job, buddy. I'm about to do these shoes. Yep, you may do those two. One more. Move, gorgeous, because you ain't got your clothes on, girl. Go ahead, Matt. Ooh. 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 Fortnite. Ooh. Ooh. Go, Matt. Ooh. Do them donuts. 
Shake it and dance. Shake it and dance. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, that's enough. Good job. Ta-da! Gorgeous is eating all the munchkins. I can't show her because she like home chilling. She ain't got no clothes on. But sister girl is eating all the munchkins. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put ya. Okay, I'm gonna put ya there. All right. I'm gonna throw it away, Mommy. Thank you, Mac. Mac is gonna throw that other tray away. Now, one of my subs told me I should start here, keeping my flour and stuff in the bag like this. Like once I'm done with it, like this is cinnamon sugar and cinnamon sugar and brown sugar all together in this bag. So she would suggest that I take this bag, date it, and keep it in the refrigerator, even with my flour. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I'm going to keep this for today. No, take it to daddy. Take it to daddy. Why? Because he has the trash. I'm going to keep it like this for today because we might make some more of these. But this is what it's looking like. Oh, this munchkin is fine. These the donuts, cinnamon sugar donuts, homemade, like my grandmama taught me, my great grandma. And then we have our teriyaki chicken. It looks so delicious. Grill side up. And I'm still finished making this macaroni. My green beans are right here. They're done. I just seasoned them with abado. So this is my gorgeous set over there eating munchkins. This is my first pack of cheese. I put my cheese in one at a time, stir it around, then add the next one. So let's go ahead and start this on up. I keep forgetting that I got these nice silicone slash wooden utensils. So I started that first pack. Now we're going to add pack number two. Pack number two. We're going to go ahead and stir this right on up. All right, guys. I just added cheese number three. It's going to be nice and cheesy and delicious. All right, guys. This is the aftermath of my teriyaki chicken like I made that myself, right? green beans i mean i made it but i ain't make it make it and macaroni and cheese this is a quick easy lunch idea dinner idea whenever you don't feel like cooking but everybody bugging you to eat and you want something like homemade because it's cheaper go for this y'all this meal right here to feed my whole family cost me like i'll say 17 dollars because i use three packs of macaroni I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did you know what to do you know what to do go ahead and hit a likey like hit a likey like hit a likey like for your girl 